I probably should have recorded this, but I have Vlad's car here. I am actually patching up some of the body stuff. His rear quarter was really badly dented, so I already bonded it. It still needs one more layer of bondo. This is fiberglass bondo, so it's very flexible. But it still needs one more layer of actual bondo to patch up these little indents. Then I have to do with the bumper. Once the bumper is done, I can actually go ahead and mess around with the hood. Because as you can see, both sides are broken. The vents completely broken on both sides. And then all the spider cracks have to be sanded down. So... The whole hood has to be redone, I have to finish the rear, and I have to do the bumper. Once those two things are finished, this thing is going to get painted into such a crazy color. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, that's on the back burner still because it's just been freezing cold here. And you can't really do anything with Bondo, but today was nice and warm. So I told him I'll get his car done. It's much less work than this for sure. So this thing will be done within like two to three days. And then it's going to be painted hopefully this weekend and it's going to come out sick. Um, but for now, this thing's on the back burner. This thing's coming out really good. And he just pulled up. Look at that. It's like perfect timing. Oh, she looks good. So I gave him my car since I took his, but damn, she looks good. But uh, going to see his reaction, what he thinks of this. Um, hopefully he likes it. Because now it's smooth. I just sprayed it with blue, but it kind of matches, so it's kind of surprising. Uh, but still have to finish that, as I mentioned, then do the bumper, and then do that. So let's see this boy's reaction. This freaking car, man. I thought I got stuck in it. <laughs> the door doesn't open. You have to really force yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, but I'm stuck. I went through the passenger door out first time. What you think? It's not done, though. It's still, I have to fix it a little bit. Ooh. So you see those little indents? Uh -huh. That's the final bondo. And then this line, I patched it up, so I have to make the line back again. Like on that line. side. Yeah. Uh. It's not that hard, but... It's still drying it. Oh, no, it's good. So, see how there's a tiny indent? I sprayed a gloss so I could see where the indent is, and it's uh -huh. like right there. Yeah. So this is the next day, and I am tackling the hood today. So this piece is completely sheared off. I'm gonna have to put it back, apply a bunch of fiberglass to hold this on top and... <sighs> um, I mean, the fiberglass is gonna hold it. It's gonna be really strong, but on top, I'm not sure. I might have to do a fiberglass bondo. Um, same with the edges right there. And then, yeah, so... This shouldn't take too long. I think I can knock this out today and leave the bumper for another day or maybe even finish the bumper today as well. But that's what I'm doing today. Six hours later. So I just finished the passenger side. As you can see, I added about eight to nine layers of uh, fresh fiberglass. So now I'm just waiting for it to dry. Once that dries, I can start sanding off the top, making it nice and straight, adding some Bondo and that'd be good so while that dries i'm actually going to start working on this one now so applying the same stuff eight to nine layers making it nice and strong and then coming back on top cleaning this up it gets a shame because it's real carbon fiber and it just broke so this is a lot easier than actually doing the rear uh but i still have to do the bumper in the rear and the bumper in the rear is going to be the worst part i want to say because the bondo Pretty sure it goes like from here, as you can see, all cracked. This is all Bondo, like, oof. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's also gonna be a very high chance of cracking again. So, it's just, it's gonna suck, but it is what it is. We're trying to make this thing look at least halfway decent because it's gonna go in for paint and the color that he chose is gonna look insane. So now I finished the driver's side, I'm gonna let that dry this is pretty much dry it's nice and strong look at that you could even like it's on there it's not going anywhere so bondoing it on top should not crack unlike those pieces that i think i'm gonna have to take off the hood to apply some fiberglass there but i don't know if it's gonna help to be honest because those two parts move a lot but we'll see i think i can work with it so i'm continuing to uh 
sand everything. There's a lot of spider cracks in the resin, so I'm trying to bring it down as much as possible because I'll be bonding on top of it. And hopefully it doesn't crack anymore. I know the proper way to do it is completely remove it and re-resin it, but we don't got that kind of equipment nor the time. But uh, this is what it looks like before and after. So everything nice and solid. You can legit probably pick up the hood with that. Uh, this side is pretty much dry, still a little bit more, but <coughs> I'm trying to sand down all the little spider cracks as much as possible. Now I'm gonna go over with Bondo on them and then uh, spray them with some primer and that should be good. So I'm gonna keep sanding it and we'll see how it goes. So everything is dry, everything is sanded down. Um, right here I'm gonna add Bondo, right here, all this resin on the corners. Um, right here as well, add some Bondo, Bondo right here, Bondo here to cover the carbon fiber here, and uh, yeah, but I mean finally it's like one piece, before it was just like that was broken, that was broken, and it was rough, but we're getting there, we're gonna make this thing pretty again. So I put the first layer of fiberglass Bondo on, um, yeah, gonna have to put another one here, just a little bit. Um, the side should be okay. Gonna have to mix a little bit more to put, patch that up, patch this up, and I'll probably do another layer. Um, Let's we'll see how it goes. Just gotta wait for this to harden, and then we can see. So I've been sanding for about an hour now. Um, it looks really good. Uh, I don't see any other cracks; they're not showing up. Still have to sand that corner, sand that part, and that corner, and probably add another layer to this one and I gotta see how much I sand over there but probably another coat or so and this thing's gonna look good so I am done for today I am beat my fingers hurt um, so came out really good perfect nice and smooth I don't remember if his was like this low I'm gonna have to probably mess around with it a little bit but this side's done this side is done came out good I finished this part um, it actually came out really good. I'm surprised that side. I haven't finished yet. I'm gonna do another day I'm just extremely tired. I'm beat all the spider cracks that I had here. They're completely gone so Pretty happy with that. Um, he's gonna drift this thing. So it's definitely gonna get beat up again, but We just wanted to kind of look good for the new paint color because the new paint color is gonna be insane like it's actually a color I was gonna do that car in, but I decided to go with yellow, so he's gonna do the color I was sort of originally gonna do, uh, but my wife said get yellow, but I really can't wait for this thing to come out because you guys ain't ready. Like that color is gonna be insane. And I think he's gonna paint it on Saturday. Today is Wednesday, um, so it's raining tonight, or tomorrow I should say, so I'll probably bring this into the shop. Uh, so I'll probably bring this to my warehouse, sand it down there, and then we're just gonna sand the whole car and send it. So definitely excited for it. Can't wait. This thing's coming out super good. Um, I'm really surprised that the second time around of working with Bondo, I'm actually a lot better at it. This was my first time, this is my second, and I already know what to do and how to do it properly. And just look at that, that is so seamless. And underneath this fiberglass, um, let me show you. Oh, I can't even show you because it covers it. But um, yeah, super stoked. I think it came out really good. Um, maybe he'll stop by today and check it out if he likes it. He's gonna let me know if there's anything else he wants me to fix. But see how the spider cracks are here? That's no Bondo and no primer yet. Uh, well, over here, spider cracks, but no Bondo and you could see it. So I'm definitely gonna put Bondo in this. Put another layer right here, and it should be perfect. But uh, I guess it'll do it for today. So this video is just gonna pick up tomorrow or the next day it's sunny. So today it's raining and I can't really do anything with the car, but look how tiny the E36 looks compared to these two beasts. Like, they're just really wide, so it makes the E36 look extremely small. And it actually is. Um, judging by the roof lines, it's a little bit smaller than the E46, but still, it just looks tiny compared to both of these monsters.